Hey BC, it's Dean Shoot, another video. Um, most probably going to do this one, then another one. Got a few things I want to sort of split up and do separately. Um, so this one is just going to be a few recent finds. Um, well, a few things I've had delivered to me that I've got um, of late. So I'll just kick off. Um, band I've got into sort of quite not recently, been into a while, but just a bit more serious about them. Um, picked up this is the the vaccines, and it's a Melody Calling EP. So there's just four tracks: Melody Calling, Do You Want a Man? Everybody's Gonna Let You Down, and Do You Want a Man? But it's a, a remix. Um, I think that's um, sort of a limited amount, but I suppose EPs usually are, so it's not so sort of much of a big deal. Uh, but vaccines, um, uh, really enjoying them at the minute. Um, until they recently I've only really had the CDs but um, this is their first album and uh, so what did you expect from the vaccines I suppose the most well known tracks off this is going to be Post Breakup Sex and uh, Wrecking, Bra uh, Wrecking Bar Ra 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 as it, uh, as it says on the back do like the cover the way it comes out and it's basically the slip in a bit and then zip back but it's on um, just the normal black yeah. quite heavy pressing vinyl so I think that's 180's feel of it just feel that kind of weight but um, I do quite like those slip cases, you know, just, um, get back in your as it sits, it's got a nice artwork, simple idea, but quite, quite effective. Um, I suppose the next one comes up for any Beatles fans out there, I managed to pick this up, um, and it's say. basically it's a business. The Beatles, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. But, um, yeah, well, so I've seen this one, I've seen this, I thought I'd have to get it because it's really nice. It's on um, um, Polyphone and EMI, and it's a, it's a German pressing. It's actually. EMI records, but if you look at the bottom, um, sleeve printed, so let's see if we can get in there, um, sleeve printed in Great Britain, record manufactured in West Germany, so, so that was quite nice, I was happy to pick that up, so I like my vehicles, I decided to add a few bits to it basically, I suppose it's quite scarce really in terms of what I have, but um, on a Paul Weller kick as well at the minute, so had to pick up Wake Up the Nation. Um, after his new album came up with his Saturn's Pattern, um, decided to go through some of the bad ones. I've been meaning to get them for a long time, but the, you know, the thing about Mr. Weller is not cheap. Um, and this is on um, Island, I think it's V2. Yeah, V2 Music Limited, but um, yeah, I was sort of happy to pick that one up. Um, so obviously carried on with the trend is a uh, more modern classics, and this is um, Virgin. It's a lovely, lovely gloss um, sleeve and set. It's. Um, Double vinyl, but you get um, some nice in there. So, put the inner artwork. Oh, bless me, just nice. <laughs> the inner artwork on the um, Paul Weller stuff is always. Well worth it. You always know you're going to get some good packaging with um, anything Paul Weller. 
and especially the stuff that comes out on um, Vinyl Factory um, is always exceptional. So, so that was more modern classics. I don't mind um, modern classics, but obviously that's going to be expensive. Um, did pick up Sonic Kicks as well, and this one is on um, Vinyl Factory. Uh, Vinyl Factory are pretty good because they do have a um, phenomenal um, vinyl press. Um, so I think it's one of the best in the world, uh, the actual quality of the press. Um, so usually if you can pick anything up from them, it's usually not too cheap. I think um, I did see some Florence and the Machine singles at like £50. Pounds. Um, they were limited to an obscenely low number. I think they were signed and everything, so you know you were getting a still a single there. Isn't it? I may have mentioned that before, but so yikes. So you get rid of the light, and again, just uh, black vinyl, but the um, the quality on it is is um. Very impressive, very good, um, very good recording. Um, no, I think the only thing I've got left for this video is a box set. I could do that. A box set, this one's quite weird because it does do um, daft things to me when I handle it, so I try not to keep my fingers over it. But it's a muse, and this is second wall. If I do like that. See what I mean? Because it's a bit funny. Um, this is um, Second Law, which is it's not their latest album; it's their last but one. And um, I've been wanting to pick this up for a while. Is as, as it like as a box set? Um, I've always had my eye on it, and I noticed the other day that the, um, the website had it for twenty nine ninety nine. So I thought I'm having me some of that. That's a uh, nice in. Um, Embossed bit zip button. That's the guys there. Again, embossed at the bottom. Uh, they do a lot of things like this. It's a, you know, it's really nice, um, really nice sets that they usually do. So, and embossed at the bottom. So nice little set. And of course, the music. So it comes over to you. But um, so you've got a nice basic inner sleeve and then just that vinyl, but nice, um, nice labels. But um, just got coloured in as I was going to check to see if they've got any. Um, Anything in there because you can see the colouring, but sometimes they have a you know artwork, but not this time. So, something to do again. And I also mean, I wanted to pick this up, and I think the price has started to go a bit not, not crazy, crazy, but um. You know, they were starting to creep up. And I think the problem people do is it's easy. The best thing the recommendation is go to the artist website. Always have a look on the artist website or the label website. Um, you get some people. So as soon as something comes out, they put it up on eBay or Amazon and try and sell it off more expensive than, than what it is. And you can still get um, you can still get the item from the actual um, artist website so it does come with this nice little um, sort of CD box booklet um, so you've got um, so you've got ZZ 
and at the back there is a tampon bugger the accompanying DVD Oh. And then it's uh, just a nice little book that really is accompany artwork that's in the album and sort of like um, lyric listings for the albums and again photos and an artwork. Guys, like they are on the inners, but just just turning things like that. So I mean, that's a nice little set. I mean, for for twenty nine ninety five, it's pretty damn good in my opinion. I mean, you can. I mean, I think the the standard vinyl is not much, not much off that. And you know, I was meaning to pick this up as soon as it came out on. Um, uh, double and I did see the box at the end and I thought I must get that I must get that and it sort of dragged on and dragged on and dragged on and I didn't and I didn't and then um, just recently um, I think I just completed my back catalogue of um, Muse that was the only of the old albums that I hadn't got um, so I, I literally have, I think, everything Muse on uh, vinyl now. So, um, yeah, so one more video after this to show a few things that I've been really excited for, really been waiting for. Some fantastic new albums come out um, that I'm looking to share with you guys. So I'll be back to new, another video shortly. Cheers, VC. See you.